Hi, this is Alan DeWolf with Boss Tools. And before I forget, the people back at the company wanted to make sure that I said, hey, hey. Well, we're here today to, to evaluate the hoof boss. And to help me, well, <laughs> settle, settle. I think she is uh, not quite used to the lights. What makes this tool successful and does what it does is two things. It's the design of that grinder that I use and that chainsaw disc. I've got a new motor that I'm putting in that tool. It's a faster motor, it's got more torque, it's got more power, and it's taking this tool to the next level. But what we found was if I take that chainsaw blade and I change it, I make it round, I make it small, I make it two inches, I change the the dynamics of that of that chainsaw blade and I make it to where it can be extremely controllable. We developed a tooth that could cut the density of a hoof. Now, the reason that it's so controllable is because of the depth gauge and this ramp. What's happening is that every time that little depth gauge hits, it makes that tooth bounce. It makes it bounce. Every time it hits, it's gonna bounce. So you get it going fast enough, and really what you do is that you, the whole chain is riding on that gauge right there. So to make it work, all you have to do is just apply a little pressure. And you can push on that just ever so slightly to make it engage. And so what that means is that you now have the confidence to know that that chain disc is not trying to take control of the tool. So what you're really doing is that as you begin to use the tool and you go through the, the little bit of the learning that you're gonna to have to go through, you're really kind of saying, well, if I do that, that blade's gonna do this and the result on that hoof is gonna be this. So you're really learning how you're going to move it around. And you have to understand that when you use this blade, because of the fact that it is so easy to use, everything is a flicking motion. You're not actually trimming this hoof. You're sculpting that hoof. And that's the secret. You're looking for the confirmation, right? What you're trying to do is remove the material that's on that hoof that don't belong and you're using a rasp and you're using a hoof knife and you're using a pair of nippers to remove that material. And that's what my tool does. It removes material. So you're gonna be able to remove that material looking for that confirmation because you're doing it by sight with your hand tools. It, that, that hoof knife don't have a depth gauge on it, so you're doing it by sight. You're doing it by experience. Same thing with this tool. Only difference is this tool will get you there quicker. It's easier to use. I hope you'll look through the website and look for the additional information that we've got here. I uh, just wanted to share that with you. Thank you.